Hello and welcome to a tutorial in EG 4011, the thesis research. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to import the result from a 3D scan and then you convert the mesh into a T-splice mesh that you can use for computations. Uh, in the first step, we are going to use MacMixer to import the mesh and then fix some basic part. And then after that, we are going to use Autodesk Photo Recap to uh, export the mesh as a quadrilateral mesh. And then in the final step, we are going to use Fusion 360 to convert it into this fly mesh. Now, just start from importing the result of the scan. So in here, I import an STL mesh. And there may be some mistake due to the missing data. For example, if you look at this gap, and some other mistake during the scan as well. So we need to fix them first. In the first step, we just focus on this opening and use the select tool and then try to make a bridge from two sides to patch it and then we will fix this hole with the uh, Autodesk Photo Recap alright and then just accept it I think it's good for me in the next step, I'm going to use analysis and inspector to find automatically some error of the mesh. So you can see that we can do auto repair, but this will going to connect everything together and it will be a big mess. And so therefore, I can just click manually to fix them one by one. I think that is. I don't want to fix those things because it's going to connect all of them together. All right, I'm happy with that and I'm done. Now, after this, I'm going to export it. So I use file and then I export and I export it uh, as an STL format. I already did it before, so I should override the file. Yep. And now let's move to our Autodesk Photo Recap. Now in the recap, I just load my model. So I click on load and I wrote the one I just created. And because I did it before, so I just override it. You may save as if you don't want to override it. And here is model very quickly. All right. Now, the next step, I need to do the uh, detect and fix the model issue to fix the hole of this model. So I need to detect the issues first. It can take a big while because of the big mesh. So in here, I have three options to fix the particles, the holes, and the intersections. I actually don't need to fix either. I just fix the hole only because it's going to make my mess hollow and then I cannot use this for computation data. So now I fix one by one. Please do not fix all because when you fix all it's going to fix all of the gap and then it's going to make a big mess later. So just fix and then move to the next one. Fix again and then next one. So you can clearly see the gap between two over here. So I fix again. They fully fill it. Next, I don't want to fix this one. Next, I don't want to fix this one either. They will, they will simply just make a connection between this part and this part. So therefore, it's not what I want. Let's move next. Now, this one even worse. I don't need this one. Next, here is a gap. Fix it. Next, fixed. Yeah, sometimes it needs sometime something to compute, but you still can press and make for the next one. This one, this one, here one more. Fix it. I think I'm happy with this one, so I just save it and uh, export the model. 
Some people, they really want to double check it, so they click on this one and detect the issue again and repeat this uh, process. I also can do that one more time to see if there is nothing left. Alright, so I saw something here. This one actually not very important, but I still can fix it. Next, 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 next. Uh, I don't think anything left for me, so I can export the model. So I choose export the model and I choose a quadrilateral um, mesh. You can count uh, the target, uh, but for me it's okay. And I just export it to the M1 tool. I did it before, I just override it. Alright, I can come back when the model is exported. So now the model has been successfully exported and I can import it into my Fusion 360 for further operation. So I just use upload and then I select the file I want to upload. It was M12 and I choose upload. It shouldn't take a long time. So now it has been successfully imported and I can click on the file to open. Here is your mesh and you can convert it into T-Spline right now, but I advise you not to do so because you need to put your mesh into the right position first. Alright, I want to see my origin, so here are the origins. Alright, I want to move this one into uh, this plane. You can do the same with the uh, 3D model of your box, but I choose this way because it's easier and faster for me. But for more accuracy, I advise you to use the models of the box. Now I just move this one. Choose and move. To have the best effect, I can move this way. Yeah. Yeah, and I also need to rotate it a little bit. I think it may be too much, maybe seven degree. Yeah, I'm happy with this. So seven degree and then move it again. All right, we don't need to be very accurate now because we have to move it again in the future. Uh, let's do the scaling first. Because of the wrong setup, so therefore uh, the unit here is 10 times bigger than in reality. So I just try to use the scale. So I use modify and then scale. And then I scale with the ratio of 0.1. So this one goes in to make it exactly what I need. And okay. Now I need to move it again. All right. I zoom in. I think maybe minus 147. Yep, I'm happy with that now. Okay. And I also need to rotate it from the top. So let's look at the top view. Mm. Zoom fit. Alright. Now you can see that. This mesh is slightly off the positions, and I need to rotate it. I think clockwise, maybe just one degree, and that is all right. I can confirm that the position is okay. Now, this is time for converting so. I can do is I can convert this one into the mesh of this fly, so part mesh to this fly mesh, and I convert to new body. All right, convert it. Yep, and here is your T fly mesh. It look a little bit sparkling.
อาทิตย์ละแค่ปีก็ที่สวนว่า and now I don't need the reproductions anymore so I just have them this one and this one I need only this one now to calculate the arrows in volume I need to draw a box and then split the box with the mesh so I'm going to do it right now all right maybe because of the angle of view so I choose this one which cannot be drawn now and add a new sketch yeah so in here you need to draw a rectangle with the size of your box and as close as you can I can see here maybe something I don't like yeah maybe the refract of the edge so I just draw it a little bit inside but for your situation you need to draw it as close to the boundary as you can because it will calculate the right volume and that is done here is the surface and now I just show this surface up I don't care much about the depth because I'm going to split it later and done so now I have a new body and I try to split the body for that with the tool in the surface done and ok Right. Now you can see that I have two new bodies, the body number 5 and the body number 6. So the body number 5 is the extra one, I don't need it. And the body number 6 is actually the eroded volume. I hope this tutorial can help you to do the analysis smoothly.